Good morning, HCA, and welcome to ESBN. That's Eagle Sports Broadcasting Network. I'm Mr. Schatz. I'm joined here today with Coach Mack, Coach Kane, and Coach Nevins, our sports and food gurus, analysts, and all things awesome. Uh, we finished round one, the round of 64, and uh, there were some heartbreaks, um, some, t- some close calls, and some good victories, and so uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that and then talk about round of 32 coming up today. So uh, let's turn it over to you guys. What did you guys think? What were your initial thoughts with uh, the round of 64? Kane, you're first. Oh, I'm first? All right. Well, I, I, think, the, I think we did okay. Not, not too bad for the most part. Most of mine pulled through. Uh, there were definitely some heartbreakers in there and, and some ones that I'm just downright mad about that didn't pan out my way. But I mean, we can talk about those whenever we get there. But I think for the most part, we're still, we're still alive. We're still doing good. Nevis, do you feel like your bracket? I got it. I got it. You know, and, and there's a few regions I'm looking at here. You know, I, I know that there's a lot of people interested in the, uh, the whole snuffers and Fuddruckers debate. And so when I'm looking at it, I've got, you know, snuffers coming through. It's a 71 to three win. It's a massive victory. Um, look for them to upset Chick-fil-A coming out on the closed on Sunday region. Um, I've also got my eye on, the California Dreaming region, uh, in and out I know is a big favorite there, but um, coming from West Texas, you know, I'm, I'm looking at my uh, Mexican fast food. Uh, Rosa's already pulled out against Taco Casa fairly easily, and I look for them to pull through against Taco Bell as well. Easy there. That's a, that's a big contention for Kane. Big one, man. It's ridiculous to, like, at this at the point in the game, right, like that you can't just pick, you know – what has better food like this is all like this is a value package like you got to look overall like what are you getting for your money at the end of the day like when it comes to fast food burritos i'm not going to go pay a whole lot more money at rosa's when i can just get two two burritos for for three dollars at taco casa and that's still get the get quality. a rosa's too homie that's what you get a rosa's nah, i get the cheese and gelatas you can get the rosa's. quality <laughs> there or you can get the cheap and you get the rosa's, homemade rosa's tortillas on fancy. top of it and you don't get the runs after you're done. So ah. win, win, win. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Coach Mack, <laughs> talk to us a little bit about uh, your disappointment there. Uh, torchies over boots. That's pretty painful. I do not know what Rockwall kids are thinking about. Boots is a local legend. The best burgers east of Lake Ray Hubbard. And it goes down to who? Ah, oh, you know, I, I got to give it. Now, Torchies is from my old hood, all right? I'm a Castellinda rat, born and raised, been there for 40-something years. But come on, you're a Rockwall lights. Boots wins. Hands down, Kane. Hands down. Listen, listen, okay? Here's the thing. The most important food in life is chips and queso. That's the top tier. That's as good as it gets. And when you've got one restaurant that's cranking out the best queso on the planet, I don't care how good of a burger you got. Chips and queso wins all day. And so with that, in my round of 32, I'm thinking that that chips and queso might pull out over Chick-fil-A. Hey, and, it, and in my mind, Chick Fil A is overrated as it is. I, I think it's over. I think everybody glorifies it. It's the holy chicken, whatever, man. Get out of here. It's garbage. Give me some Chicken Express. We're I'm good. telling you this: the only way Torchies wins is if that game's played on Sunday. <laughs> Coach Mack, can you talk to us a little bit about uh, this two fifteen game? Uh, Waffle House got beat by Culver's, which. For many, might not have been surprised, but but you had them in the elite eight. How are you feeling about that loss? Well, I was going to bring this up. This is my tragic news of the round. I'll have tragic news every round. Wah, wah. This is mine. The Waffle House loses to Culver's. I'm not sure how that happens. How does a 24-hour breakfast place that serves steak and chili lose? to a uh, fast food burger joint that doesn't serve a blizzard or a, well, what else? A sonic uh, blast, a, bl- a blizzard or a blast. They serve a concrete mixer and they are basically Chiloso's little brother. Everybody goes to Chiloso and then gets dessert at Culver's. Waffle House, classic 
American Diner. Don't know how that happened. I'm still devastated that they're not going to make it to the final eight. But it doesn't matter anyway. They weren't going to beat Chick-fil-A. All right, let's talk a little bit about the upsets uh, of today's matches. We had two upsets. Domino's demolishing Jack in the Box, uh, 52-23. And then Solman's Barbecue smoking Firehouse Subs, uh, 52-21. to Talk about the upsets a little bit. Well, I'm going to go with uh, Soul Man's. I, I picked them to win. I didn't think that was much of an upset. I mean, after all, they got the, the great Blake Tamez, HCA grad, cooking in the back, assistant manager. I mean, how can you go wrong with an HCA grad? Oh, I agree. I'm, I'm right there with Mac. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, come on, man. Are you really going to pick a, a sandwich place over a barbecue place? Like, come on. I, I, think, the, I think the committee's got the seating wrong there. At the end of the day, you can never, never go wrong with some Soul Man's barbecue. Domino's, man. Domino's all day for the win right here as a dad. You know, you got the two, two pizza, two topping, $5.99 each, one, one push button delivery at your door in 20 minutes. It's tough to beat Domino's, man. Domino's all day in that win. And you got, and you got some basketball players that were swearing up and down to me uh, about the jack-in-the-box egg rolls. <laughs> um, so... <laughs> That's one reason why Jack in the Box is going down. Listen, I, when it comes to me, in my opinion, I can't even talk pizza because I think it's an outright just r ridiculous thing that happened in the first round of Jason's Deli beating Papa John's. I mean, you've got the best pizza out there as far as like fast food and delivery and all that goes. The best pizza out there with Papa John's and it goes down to some dumb sandwich shop. Get out of here, man. I'm, I'm done. Well, let's talk about the number one seeds a little bit. Uh, there were easy wins for three of them. Chick-fil-A dominating 74 to one votes against Wiener Schnitzel. Uh, I want to know who that one person, I think that one person needs to come out to expose the <laughs> Wiener Schnitzel there. We need to figure out who that, who that is. It was Coach Mack. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I didn't vote. I'm trying to stay impartial here. I'm pretty sure the mercy rule was invoked on that one. It was painful. It was painful to watch. But, but now let's talk a little bit about McDonald's. They struggled a little bit uh, against an opponent like Fireside Chicken, a, a local joint there. And um, what do you think? Are, do you think they have enough to keep going, or are they going to uh, bow out in the round of 32? This has Coach Kane written all over it. He is a McDonald's guy all the way through and through. That's right. That's right. So – I mean, clearly out of the Ronald McDonald region, I've got to have McDonald's coming out. That's, that's my guys. That, you know, they have been – they got me through some rough years in college and, and when I was balling on a budget, and, and I relied heavily on them, and I, and I think they'll pull through again. And I, I think at the end of the day, you know, they had a rough first round. But, I mean, once you look at the bracket and see what's coming up, you got Dairy Queen. I think they'll pass by Dairy Queen with flying colors, no problems. Uh, and then even in the next round, you're, you're gonna, you'll, they'll either get matched up with Panera or Panda. And it's like, come on, man, you got McDonald's over both of those. And so the only thing that I'm slightly worried about for this region right now for McDonald's is that is I think Whataburger is going to pull out in the bottom of that bracket. And I think that's where we may see one of the best games of, of this entire year. So mark that, mark that Elite Eight uh, game mm -hmm. down. That will be the one to follow. It's not even a, that's not even a contest. That's not even a contest. Whataburger, hey. if it's a big if, if McDonald's even makes it to that point, McDonald's is come comes from the weakest conference in the entire country to get that one seed. They played nobody all year, and so they get that automatic one seed. But they they're not a one seed, man. McDonald's is a Listen, I, I I got it. come on. You go to McDonald's, and outside of the McRib and the McFish, everything else is incredible. That's the, the only two things. Hey, you can order everything else at McDonald's. And, and everything else will be good outside of those two things. Let me, let me clue you in, okay? This is, this is coming from my inside sources as far as McDonald's, all right? Not very many people actually know this, but this is a proven fact from my inside sources, okay? Not many people know that McDonald's is home to some of the best chocolate chip cookies on planet Earth. Some of the best chocolate chip oh, cookies, and they're going to make that water burger clash even better. Nevins, you got my back. A little heated up, two cookie package of of water burger chocolate chip. And there's there's there, there's so many things that put water burger over the top over McDonald's that it's not even cookies don't even 
you have to bring those up. You got the breakfast taquitos. You've got all the different bacon and the, I mean, all the, all the different burgers that Whataburger brings out, man. But now so listen, listen, you're talking and, and I get it. Don't get me wrong. I picked Whataburger, Whataburger to go through, but you're talking, you got the HCA kids voting here. Now these are some suckers that love Fuddruckers. Okay. So I, I, I think, I think we're sitting here talking like Whataburger is a sweep all the way through and we don't have to worry about anything at all, but you got to remember who's voting, man. These kids love Fuddruckers. Like you were saying, it's always snuffers or Fuddruckers going back and forth. And so, all right, let's talk a little bit. There was some scandal in the round of 64. Uh, Burger King, they, uh, they showed up twice. Apparently, they paid a capitalist market uh, to take the 12 seed and the 14 seed uh, down in the closed on Sunday region. Uh, I'm not sure what they were thinking, um, but I, I don't think they stood a chance at either way. It's Burger King, after all. What, what do you guys think about some of the – uh, punishments that were laid out to them, some of the fines that they were given? Well, they will not be in the tournament next year. We know that for a fact. It's just a matter of how many years they are suspended from the organization. Okay, let's talk about uh, games to watch for in round two. Uh, what are some games that you guys uh, think we should be watching for in round two? I'll start with you, Nevins. Uh, Rose's got Taco Bell. I know we got the cheap fast food, but I think Roses is going to pull out there pretty convincingly. The Canes, the Canes matchup in the next round scares me a little bit more than that one. Um, the Babes and In and Out. I don't know if enough people know about Babes though to be able to overtake In and Out. <laughs> well, I'm really looking at a couple of games here. I think the Whataburger Fuddruckers, like Kane mentioned, is a very intriguing matchup. I got Whataburger going to the Final Four, so I'm going to keep them in it. But I think that'll be intriguing. And the one that Mr. Nevin, or Coach Nevins mentioned, the uh, one versus eight. Everybody knows I got Babes going to the Final Four where they're in, where in the glass slipper. I think it'll be a little tougher. Uh, but I do believe Babes will pull this out. The kids will reward Babes for what it is. They will. It's a celebration stop for everybody. That's where you celebrate your birthdays, your Easter's, your anniversaries. Tops on the list. So I'm going to go with Babes over the eight over the one. I'm going to stick with that. But that's my big one. Um, Kane, what do you got? What's your top matchup coming out? Yeah, I, I think I think my main matchup that I'm looking at, uh, I don't think a lot of people are actually paying much attention to it at all, but it comes out of that California uh, dreaming region. The one that I would keep my eye on is the Chicken Express at the four seed versus Sonic at five. Uh, I think we got a good matchup there. Uh, as you can see, they both came out of the first round at 51 to 23. And so uh, there is like an equal liking with both of these two uh, restaurants. And so at, at the end of the day, I don't think you're going to have like a sleeper come out. I, I don't think either one of them are going to go too far after this round. But I think nonetheless, we could have a good matchup in there. You know, I'll tell you one more to look at uh, in the grilled avocado region. Five guys versus Joe Willie's. Oh, got oh, uh, two burger joints going at it. Uh, five guys, you've got the, 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 the fries in the, in the, in the bag. Um, but Joe Willie's the local restaurant. Um, I I'm pulling for Joe Willie's, uh, on that game. I, I think the local, um, loyalty will, uh, will help them to get, get past five guys. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think it'll be interesting too. I do think Joe Willie's will pull it out, but then you've got, um, the matchup with the other local heavy favorite Chiloso in the next round. So, um, Whoever pulls out of it, I don't think they'll have enough power to, to overmatch Cheloso, but it should be an interesting matchup this round for sure. All right, I'm going to go to my boy Kane here because he really loves – I know he loves a good burrito. So I'm going to stay with the grilled avocado region for a second. If you look at the bracket, underneath that 4-5 or five between Five Guys and Joe Willie's is the setup of Soul Man's Barbecue, the number 11 seed. Taking on the number three seed is the Freebird Burrito. Now, if the Freebird can get past Soul Man's, and Cousin Blake Tmez, they got a run against Wendy's or Pizza Hut that's very winnable and could put, a, put us at a Sweet 16 matchup or Elite 8 matchup of Freebirds versus Choloso. So I want to hear Kane's view on the two burrito giants in Rockwall. Yeah, I think you could have an interesting matchup going through there. Um, but I, I think you are right. I think you could end up with a uh, burrito versus burrito challenge. 
And uh, I think it wouldn't be too shocking if you see some sort of matchup like that. But I think at the end of the day, uh, with it being like a rock wall special and all the kids love their jalapeno ranch, man, I, I think Toloso pulls it out solely based off of the jalapeno ranch. All right, uh, Coach Kane, uh, we've already heard uh, Coach Mack's final four. All four of his are still in with uh, the surprise with Babes in his final four. Uh, Coach Kane, what do you have in your final four? Yeah, so uh, I will go ahead and preface this. My final four does not reflect my own personal beliefs. Uh, I, I made, I, I played for strategy here and I played to win, okay? And so know that A, my picks do not reflect my personal beliefs. But uh, out of the uh, Ronald McDonald region, sadly, extremely sadly, I do not have McDonald's pulling it out of a Whataburger. So I have a uh, Whataburger win in that region. Uh, as much as it pains me deep down in my soul um, to say that, at the end of the day, I do love me a good old patty milk. But uh, in the closed on Sunday region, I think, uh, I think Chick-fil-A, there's no way that they don't win that region. Uh, the only one that may sneak its way past them is Snuffers, but at the end of the day, I just I don't, I don't see Snuffers getting it done over Chick-fil-A. Uh, once again, does not reflect my personal opinion on which restaurant is better. Uh, from the California Dreaming region, I have Canes pulling it out. Uh, I think that they have a pretty run, pretty easy run there in the southern region of that bracket, uh, and I think they'll have no problem passing all the way through. And then uh, lastly for the grilled avocado, it's named that for a reason, and I think the people love the Chiloso. All right. Uh, Coach Nevins, what do you got for your final four? Yeah, it looks a little similar to Canes, but a little different. Um, the only one that's really exactly the same is going to be the Ronald McDonald region. Um, I do have McDonald's against Whataburger and Whataburger pulling it out against McDonald's. Um, in the closed on Sunday region, this may be my biggest upset. Um, and it's going to be the, the loaded cheese fries that, that end up taking down the giant that is Chick-fil-A. Wow. In the California Dreaming region. I've got Roses getting all the way to the Elite Eight against In-N-Out. Um, I think Kane's limited menu is going to end up doing them in. Um, I think there's, there's a lot of people that like chicken, but not everyone. Um, with In-N-Out, I think the uh, Monster style is going to end up taking them all the way into the Final Four. And then the grilled avocado region is just going to be a straight runaway where you've got Chiloso with no competition getting all the way to the Final Four. All right. Well, I think there's plenty of uh, opportunity for some upsets and um, we'll see what happens. I thank you guys for joining us. Uh, we'll look forward to recapping the round of 32 with y'all. Uh, and um, yeah, make sure that you guys vote. Uh, make sure that you guys are filling out your brackets, keeping track. Remember, you guys are the ones who uh, decide. So uh, tell your friends and uh, support your local restaurants. Thank you guys for being here. Um, coaches, you guys are great. And uh, we will uh, see you guys later. Bye, everybody.